On to football now. You'll never walk alone. It's a song composed by Richard Rogers and is also perhaps the most famous song in football. It is heard before every kickoff at Anfield, especially when Liverpool FC is a part of it. Today, it's an anthem, of course, for them and it's a huge part of the club's identity. It's like a unifying force that brings all the fans together. And now is when all Liverpool fans will be puffing up their chests and singing it loud and proud. Because yesterday, they pulled off something special. Liverpool survived an Arsenal barrage to seal a place in the FA Cup fourth round. The dramatic win came after two late goals and Liverpool secured a gritty 2-0 win. Gunners defender Jakub Kua headed Trent Alexander-Arnold's free kick into his own net with 10 minutes left. And Luis Diaz wrapped up a smash-and-grab raid in stoppage time. There's a reason I find this impressive. When Liverpool played the match against Arsenal, the irreplaceable Mo Salah wasn't even in the lineup. He has always led the Reds from the front. We know every club has their trump card. That's what Salah is to Liverpool. Once he departed for the Africa Cup of Nations, the imminent question was, can Liverpool keep winning without him? If you, do you want to play without Mo? No. But if you have to, then we always, and we had, in the past we didn't have to do it that often, but we always find, I think, a way to, 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 to get through these periods. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that we will find. But of course, we play Arsenal, so that at Arsenal you can lose with Mo Salah. Um, so it's possible as well you lose without him. Um, but in the moment we have a chance to win the game, so I think we should more think about that. Now, it was a big test for Jurgen Klopp and his side, and looks like they came through. Add to that the fact how the Reds were also without key players. Robertson, Matip, Dominic all have sustained injuries and are off the field. Virgil van Dijk, of course, was ruled out of Liverpool's Emirates FA Cup clash due to illness. Now, despite these setbacks, they have weathered a storm. Arsenal is FA Cup's most successful club to fly to their home ground, the iconic Emirates Stadium, and win without so many first-choice players shows how Liverpool are serious contenders, not just here, but in several competitions this season. The Reds are battling it out on four fronts. The Premier League, Europa League, FA Cup, of course, and Carabao Cup. And have it in them to attain glory in all four of these. Today, Liverpool sits at the top of the Premier League. They are through to the round of 16 in the Europa League and are playing the semi-final at the Carabao Cup. Seems like it could be the year of riches for the Reds this year. A turnaround from how the previous year ended. What are the reasons for the resurgence of the Reds? Or at least a heightened performance. I will have to point out their signings first up. They brought bought in the right personnel to do the job for them. Especially Klopp brought in players without spending too much of a bomb on many. Who elevated the team's overall performance. He himself called it Liverpool 2.0. The club spent over $120 million to rejig its team. These were well-thought-out signings for the 2023-2024 season. The Reds also parted ways with some of its most seasoned players. Stalwarts such as Roberto Firmino, former Liverpool captain Jordan Henderson also left the club. Henderson was followed by Fabio Tavares, who also travelled to Saudi Arabia to play for Al Ittihad. While it may be tough to get rid of established names, it was a move that paid off. To make room for newer talents, younger talents, in 2022, the Reds won the FA and Carabao Cups. Two years on, after knocking the Gunners out, another double seems around the horizon for them. Their resilience in the coming weeks will be tested further, but Liverpool under Klopp have managed strong changes that have seen the transformation, of them going from a good side to a potent one. The team brought in fresh legs and with that, more intensity. And that is clearly showing in the results like last night, winning against Arsenal, will definitely be a massive confidence boost. It's just one game, but to continue doing so will be the real challenge to their medal. Their talismanic winger Salah is in the Ivory Coast, as we mentioned, to play for Egypt in the African Cup of Nations. He has netted 14 goals in 20 Premier League games and will miss some crucial fixtures in the days ahead. But Liverpool has shown the big names don't matter as long as the bigger picture is in play. And with the way they are heading into the next phase, they will not walk alone.